Howdy, this is Mackenzie Franklin from Side Game LLC here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Today we're going to be taking a look at Race for the Galaxy and how to organize it all in one box with all current expansions. Now there is a tad bit of lid lift on this one, so just a couple millimeters here on the bottom, but otherwise it fits really nicely into this main core box. Without further ado, let's take a look at what we're doing. First off, we'll open up the top here, and we'll see that we have all of the different instruction booklets for the different games, as well as player aids, solo boards, and I believe this is the invasion board from Xenos Invasion. So you've got all of this different stuff up on the top here. And as you can see here, we've divided the cards into two separate sections. So on the right here, we have majority of just cards. And on the left, we're going to have components as well as some additional sets of cards. So first off, let's go ahead and take a look at this right section. So all of the player cards are designated by this white card background. So I just use Ultra Pro for these. And these are going to contain all of your player cards. So these are game cards that you're going to be using in every game here from all the different expansions. And then in front here, in these clear sleeves, we have all of the player cards themselves for choosing the action. So these are the action cards. So in white, we have the player cards. And then in these clear sleeves, we have the action cards. So I like having these kind of organized like this. So you can really see what's going on from a distance if you get familiar with your organization method. Now what I have to actually organize this is a simple piece of cardboard just lined in the center here. So you can use any type of cardboard for this as long as it sits around the center. You can even kind of wrap it around on the sides here, on the top and the back, and that way everything is staying nice in a column without ruining kind of the integrity of the box and keeping everything in this initial box. So we've got your turn order, your turn cards, your player cards, and then in the back here you have additional cards based on the specific type of game you're playing. So this is if you're using the actions that require repair. And really the big thing here is you're just kind of separating these by expansions. So in this section, we have the Xeno Invasion cards. And if you go further back, you're gonna have the cards from the Alien Artifacts expansion, so on and so forth. So just kind of keep that in mind when you sort these, put them in a logical order so that it makes sense when it comes to what you're gonna pick out for what different type of game mode you're gonna play. Now on the left side, you can see that we have a couple of different types of bins. In the square container, we're going to put all of the player score markers, so all the victory point chips, they all fit really nicely into here. And you can get these, the squares, 10 for a dollar, or the uh, circles, 10 for a dollar at Dollar Tree. So nice to just put all the tokens in here. And that's really all this side is. It's just a way to sort the different tokens, whether it be in organizers like this, or if it's going to be in um, just a plastic bag. For example, if you're using the gold tiles, then this plastic bag contains all those gold tiles from uh, the Gathering Storm, I believe these come from. In addition to that, you have all the components for the solo game, your components for the Xeno Invasion, your components for the Alien Artifacts expansion, as well as the cards that you use in that game specifically. And then I forget what this one is. I think this is Rebel versus Alliance here, as well as this one. So just kind of separated based on their uh, different game modes. And then lastly, down here, we have the create your own cards, just in case we get a clever idea that we want to make come true. So that's the organization as a whole. Um, everything is kind of separated in its own little bag. That way, when you want to play with it, you can easily throw it in. So a lot of the time, you're going to just be playing the base game. So the big things you're going to be grabbing are just these, this section and that victory point marker. Uh, but if you do want to throw in something new, you can simply grab the bag that has the pieces that support it, as well as the section here that has the different uh, expansion assigned. So with that being said, let's go ahead and pack it up. So first off, let's put the tokens down here. We'll take the alien artifact stuff and put it next. We'll take the goal counters and put it there. We'll take the solo stuff and put it here. We'll take the Xeno invasion stuff and put it there. And then we'll put the victory point markers, the additional tokens here, and we are good to go. The next thing we'll do is we'll put all of the rule books on top, as well as the box lid. And with that, we are all good to go. So that is organizing Race for the Galaxy with all expansions included. 
Uh, if any of you found this useful, fantastic. If you have any comments or suggestions on things you'd like to see organized in the future, please let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Sign Game Strong.